All right, boys, welcome to our camping spot today, the trenches. Here we got the silly strings, the party wagons, the fireworks, and spicy air. <coughs> Wait, we are in a jungle? So folks are bored. No, stop. It ain't me. To win the choir. It ain't me. Stop. The trenches. 40 seconds, we must build the biggest f***ing trench man has ever seen. Build, build, build Dude. the trench. Bob the Builder, World War One edition. We can do this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh my god, we built a giant ass barbed wire wall. How are we gonna get through? We don't. Bruh. Ready your weapon, boys, they're coming. They're coming hard. Shut the f*** up. Go, 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 boys. They're in the trees, they're in the trees. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they blended they're perfectly. Anyway. They're actually f***ing Vietnamese. Their uniform blending with the trees. Their f***ing skin color blends in with the trees. F***ing Vietnamese smurfs. What's the lore of this? Why are we fighting these blue men? Because their skin color is different. <laughs> I fear that Gargamel wants some dead. <laughs> they're checking our jobs. They're checking our jobs, yes, exactly. <laughs> eh, they're chanting. Boys, show them who's boss. Spam for the fatherland. They're like, what the hell? Morale plus 100. They probably shut their pants. Blow that shit up. You guys are just blowing up trees? Yeah, without trees, they're nothing. <laughs> without, without the trees, they're nothing. <laughs> This f***ing uh, trench line. These are like the worst trenches I've ever seen. There's like gaps in them. It's fine. Just like the French, once we have taken our enemy's position, we will appropriate their trenches. It'll be our trenches. Oh, it's nighttime. Guys, get in your position. I'm pretty sure they're gonna trench raid us. We're not sleeping tonight. You never know where these blue men are gonna pop out from. Oh my god. Dude, their skin is so dark. Oh my god. We're fighting against f***ing magic Viet Cong here. He is hiding in the trees. I feel like we made too many Viet Cong jokes. No, but he's actually in the trees. I don't give a shit. <gasps> There's a medic. Medic, Shoot him. target practice. Shoot him. Get him. Hey, Get him. I'm friendly. I'm not blue. Why aren't you blue? Tank simply saw the armband and started blasting. Medic is medic. Bro, it doesn't matter which side the medic is on. Shoot him. <laughs> All right, I, I, I will prepare to fire at the same time. Prepare to launch a volume fire. Get ready? Three, two, one. Everyone, two, one. shoot. Fire. <laughs> Fire! Bro, we don't need machine guns, so we have the manpower! Spray and pray. Oh, we didn't hit a single person! It's not about hitting someone, it's about asserting dominance. Day one eventually ended in a stalemate. Neither side had made any advancement despite their efforts. We were mainly on the defensive, focusing on fortificating our position for the days to come. I did some Uno reverse and led a small raid to the enemy trenches, but we had to retreat back to our position as the dawn was approaching. 196 soldiers perished on the first day of the conflict. There will be more for the days to come. Day two is the day we unlock the artilleries. So we were like, hey boys, boys, you know what time it is. How bitzen! 12 and 24 von der geriffelte Feldkanonen mit Hinterlader. Yeah, build right, and continue for oh God. Oh no! Oh no! They're gonna get it. They're gonna become yeah. fatherless children. <laughs> Just like us. <laughs> hey, someone go and uh, wake our enemy up, if you know what I mean. I got you, fam. <laughs> Alarm howitzers. Nice. nice. You guys, they're coming yeah. from the left side where the bridge is. Shall I deforest that area for you? <laughs> Ah, uh, give us the trees, man. Everyone, aim at the left side. We're gonna, we're gonna do a mass deforestation. We got the equipments now. They can no longer hide from us. Yo, yo, yo! There's someone on the right. Get him! Get him! They're trying to mask flank us. <laughs> he probably saw these artilleries and he's like, oh, we're. F Oh my god, I just saw that! Jesus Christ! That just got like 10 people killed. Destroy the bridge over here that's like over the water, because that's how they're getting to us. Over the water. Wait, no, don't destroy that one, because I, I, I'm yeah. using that one to get across. The enemies are using it to get over and destroy our artillery. We've already lost Yeah, but one. I'm... But I, yeah, actually, stop building the artillery. Start building the pillboxes. To explain the situation, our enemies were using this bridge we built to flank us. And because most of our people were on the artillery, they just kept getting flanked. So we started building these pillboxes that are basically AI turrets. Level 1 fires slowly, level 2 also fires slowly, but has sandbags. And 
Level three is a fucking machine gun nest. We kind of abused it and built them everywhere. So the battle quickly turned from Vietnam War to D-Day landing. Then night came and it reduces the pillbox range and made us unable to aim the artillery. But we didn't care. We just carpet bombed the shit out of them throughout the night. Boys, volley fire in three, two, one, fire. <laughs> <laughs> It 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 killed no one. Who cares? It's cool. <laughs> Pray to your goddess you won't be able to in the moment. Oh, oh my god. Bomb click. Oh. Bro, you guys suck at aiming. Jesus Christ. Keep bombing them. We will not stop until they all get shell shot. <laughs> you got oh my god. <laughs> to be honest, nothing interesting really happened. They sent like their 24th charge at us and they all got mowed down by the machine gun. Then they sent another wave. Yeah, more people died. Fun. Day three, machine gun is unlocked. You put that shit in a trench with a bunch of medics and you got yourself a pit crew. This is the true trench experience. Oh, they got it, they got it. I see that. Spot yes. <laughs> For the battle last sum, we will have one easily if we just had one machine gun and three medics in the trench. Bro, this is how you win trench uh, warfare. It's not called camping, it's called providing suppressive fire. Because of all the machine guns, the moment someone set foot in the no man's land, he will be immediately mowed down. So the battle quickly became an artillery war. Please, please, left flank, left flank. They're building a small <laughs> artillery gun in our left flank. Y'all heard him. Enemy artillery encampment behind their flag on the right side in the jungle. Focus fire, I want that sh gone. Moments later. What, what the f You guys just wiped him out of the face of this planet. In case you guys act like, Why you put so much mean? Show us artillery gameplay, bruh. Here's some artillery gameplays. Yes, I got one! <laughs> oh. oh, that was disgusting. I gotta go take a shower. Yo, the trench line is gone! The, tra <laughs> the trench is gone! It's an empty hill now! We bomb it so much, it's f***ing gone! Next, we bomb it till the hill becomes a crater. Watch how we're gonna bombard their position five years after the surrender. <laughs> Your trench privileges are forfeit. For some reason, our enemies found some really good heals to place down their artilleries. The elevation made so that their batteries outrange ours. It was getting annoying since they kept damaging our pillboxes, so we had to try and sabotage their their encampment. I see the artillery gun. Push it, push it, push it. Push, we gotta destroy their artilleries. Bro, they've got an LMG. They've just mowed down like two people in front of me. I don't care, keep moving. They'll eventually run out of ammo. Ah, For the greater good. Gentlemen, if you step on a landmine, congratulations. You just disarmed a mine. If you get shot, congrats. You just made our enemy waste a bullet. If you die, congrats. You get to join the sandbag division. Oh my god! Jesus I saw, Christ! I just saw bread getting fing like decimated! <laughs> oh no. Ah. We're all gonna die. I don't wanna die. I oh, oh my, oh my god. fucking. I'm scared I want to go home. <laughs> Please, I, oh. I miss my mom. I thought we were supposed to be the traumatic event. Why the f are we getting PTSD? All right, Jerry, come, come. They don't see us. Let's do this. All right, I'm right behind you. Gotta go get that artillery. <laughs> That's right, eat sh you fing smirk. Artillery, I see the artillery, I see the artillery. Uh, we have to kill the guy and then destroy it manually because we have no more grenades. All right, I'm gonna try to get in to destroy this manually. It's inside of like an entire like... Hello there. No, no, no! <laughs> Yo, run, run, Jerry! Oh, you. Run behind you! Run. It's not worth it! Reset, run! It was, a mission failed. We'll get them next time. You're, you're a fucking idiot. But luckily night has arrived, so their artillery became pretty much useless because it cannot aim. So we sent another, another charge. One. I know, if this charge doesn't work, send another charge. However, this time something amazing happened. The Chaos Legion somehow learned to do the creeping barrage. We need some artillery support on the left side, we're trying to push. Alright, artillery ready. Aim left side. Fire! Oh my god! That hit absolute Calls. This is just real life artillery where you don't kill anyone with it. You just scare them. Yo, we can do a creeping barrage. Aim a little bit higher and just fire. Got it. Aim higher. Ready? Fire! Oh my. 
Oh my god, we got our delay support, boys! <laughs> Change my mind. Creeping barrage is basically the same thing as fix bayonet but don't stop the artillery fire <laughs> and so we kept pushing them alongside with constant artillery bombardment raining shells on your own man has proven to be a very effective tactic and it leaves our enemy in a very confused state because they have absolutely no idea why our artillery is so coordinated we eventually destroyed our enemy's artillery encampment and day three ended in our favor yo is mustard gas unlocked yet i don't think we got spicy here in this game because uh Roblox is family friendly. I had so many gas jokes, man. <laughs> when the air smells funny. When the guy next to you in the trenches said he smells <laughs> fart. Oh no. When you're German in the wind direction <laughs> Oh boy. I can't wait to go back home and make myself a mustard sandwich. I can already smell the mustard. In all seriousness though, day four unlocks the funny metal parallelograms. So we took this opportunity and did some combined arms bleeds creek. You asked how effective it was? Well, we whipped our enemy so hard they begged us to stop. When you're in a trench and you hear tractor noises. Oh, oh no. Can you just imagine what the Germans thought when they first saw the tank? <laughs> Push with the tanks, use it as cover. Make sure enemy infantry don't get near it. Guys, use the tank use the tank as cover. Use the tank as cover. Come here, you rat bastards. Oh my god, they're getting f <laughs> Is this what the Germans felt when they pushed through France? POV. You are a German soldier during Blitzkrieg. This is the power of the combined arms. I know it's kind of late for this joke, but what are these women doing outside of the kitchen? <laughs> With the help of the armors, we managed to capture our first objective, finally making some progress towards winning the battle. After that, we kept pushing them for a little bit, but eventually, all of our tanks got destroyed. Then our enemy brought out their own tank. So we were like, Hans Dyson Feindlich Landschiff, Brinza Anti-Tank Rifle. Gunza, we don't have have any anti-tank rifle, then how do we deal with this? We have the 7th Panzer Division. It is a simple operation. We cuck them. And let's just ignore the part where we all got stuck because everyone spawned their tanks at the same time. Alright boys, to Paris and back. Home before Christmas. Which Christmas? This Christmas. Hell yeah. They have no idea what's coming for them. They probably thought they were winning since no one was fighting against them because everyone was in the f***ing tank orgy. Then just before they start to celebrate, they hear distant tractor noises. A lot of tractor noises. They are just chilling on the hill until they see this coming toward them. Yo, we're like the World War One Seventh 7th Panzer Division. 200 miles at nightfall, taking within a day. They are the Panzer Elite. Boy. Born to, to compete, compete, never, never retreat, ghost division! French High Command. Nom de Dieu, de putain de bordel de merde, de saloperie, de connard, d'enculé de ta mère. Où sont-ils? German High Command. Dying guess is as good as mine. Next point, next point. Uh, affirmative. <laughs> Gargamel's no longer playing games. Dude, this is menacing. Oh, we took the points back. Yeah, this go. is hack unfair. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is war. Bruh, so are we in World War One or World War Two? Why the f are we blitzkrieging in World War One? I? I thought we were supposed to be camping in trenches and doing bonsai charges. We are simply using World War Two tactics in World War One. This is World War One point five. Look, I tried to make this video as historically accurate as possible, but when we see tanks and an opportunity to blitzkrieg, we just couldn't stop ourselves. Old habits die hard, you know. Anyway, we just kept pushing throughout the night, and there was absolutely Absolutely nothing they could do to stop us. They may have God on their side, but we have tanks on ours. Tank, you know they have families, right? I know. They're next. Wait. Wait. Oh, sh I'm stuck. Man, can I drive 100 meters in this thing without getting stuck in a trench or breaking down for no reason? As you can see, I got stuck, and I was stuck there for the rest of the battle. What happened next was a massacre. We basically spawn camped the Smurfs for 10 minutes straight and captured two of their flags without them even being able to leave their spawn area. Keep firing. Oh Don't my let them god. Throw. <laughs> This f***ing bullet hail fire. Are you just all shooting them? <laughs> Holy hell! What? <laughs> <laughs> no, this I love domestic violence. This is not even content. This is just a one-way massacre. Look at the kill feed. So yeah, I pretty much just sat there and won. In fact, we never planned to push them to the end this fast. We wanted to make them feel the pain of World War One for a bit longer. Eh, I guess now we're going back home before Christmas. Some people are gonna be mad at me for not including any trench charge. We kind of forgot to do it. So here are some glorious charges from another battle. All right, everyone, get ready to charge! 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 charge. I don't know. Whistles, I'll do this. 
What am I just hurting? I'm wanting a charge. Get ready. Three, two, one. Go, 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 charge! Oh. The charge to take point two is ordered. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna fly yes, to the white like, people. Oh, that's what we're supposed to do, right? It works! It works! <laughs> it works! <laughs> All right, everyone, get ready to charge in 10 seconds. Everyone, get ready. It's night. They cannot see us. We're black. We blend in. <laughs> Five, I knew that joke four, was three, two, one. Charge. Good day, good day, good day. Good day. Good day. We were pretty much African shock troopers. We ended a f***ing battle in one day by simply using human wave tactic. But World War One BLM is a story for another time. I must end the video here because it's getting pretty long. Subscribe, like, and spam me in the comment section or I will send the f***ing 7th Panzer Division to your house.